Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a program to calculate the amount to be paid for a prepaid taxi using a fails construct. We are going to see the question. A prepaid taxi charges from the passenger as per the tariff given below. You can see a tariff table given. So first is uh, left hand side is distance, right hand side is rate. Up to 5 kilometers, it's rupees 100. It's a flat rate. How many hour kilometers between 1 to 5 you travel, it will be flat 100 rupees. For the next 10 kilometers, it is 10 per rupees 10 per kilometer. That means you are going to uh, travel from 6 to 15. How many hour kilometer you travel? You have to subtract the first 5 kilometers and then the remaining kilometers you have to multiply with 10 rupees 10. Okay, that means uh, first 5 kilometers that 100 rupees should be added with this. After uh, multiplying, you are going to add 100 rupees with that. Next 10 kilometers is rupees 8 per kilometer. Again, the same process you have to subtract the uh, current distance by uh, minus 15. Okay, subtract uh, uh, 15 kilometers from the current uh, distance and then the remaining distance you are going to multiply it with 8 and add up the previous two values. That is, first 5 kilometers is 100. Next, uh, 10 kilometers is 10 rupees, that is also 100, so 200 will be added with this, okay. And more than 25 kilometers, rupees 5. So, that means if you travel, say, 30 kilometers, you have to subtract 25 kilometers and then the remaining 5 kilometers, you have to multiply with 5 and uh, add up with these values, whatever uh, values you got previous, okay, the tariff, you are going to add it to that. So, write a program uh, to input the distance covered and calculate the amount to be paid by the passenger. The program displays the printed bill with the details given below. You have to display a taxi number, distance covered, amount. That means you got to get uh, two input. One is uh, you have to get the taxi number and also you have to enter the distance. Okay, distance covered. After that, after getting two input, you are going to calculate the amount with the tariff given in the table and then you are going to display it as a uh, printed bill. Okay, so we are going to see how to do this in uh, program. So in BlueJ, you can uh, see the first line, import java.util.scanner. Uh, this is used to get the scanner class included in the program from the package java.util. Then you have a class name, prepaid taxi. And then inside you got public static void main function where you are going to write the program. So you can see the first line, uh, scanner is equal to new scanner system.in which is used to create a scanner object. Uh, using the scanner object you are going to get the input from the user. Then you can see a string uh, value that is string variable taxi and no that is taxi number. Uh, you may get an alphanumeric value as input say TN uh, some number. So you have alphanumeric value so you can uh, declare it as a string, va a string variable so that it can accept both. Then you have uh, distance and amount both are of integer type because there is no division here. Okay, if you are dividing some value, you may uh, get uh, you may get double value, but you are only multiplying the uh, distance with the with the uh, rate given. So you are not going to get any uh, decimal digits. So I have declared uh, both as integers. So distance will take the distance from the user, and then amount will, will store the amount after calculation. Whatever amount will be stored here, and you should initialize with the default value zero. Next is you are going to get the inputs for uh, the taxi number that is uh, the uh, taxi no equal to se dot next will take the token as string and then it will be stored in taxi number and then the next input is uh, distance. So distance uh, is since it is uh, integer you have to use se dot next in. So the next token whatever you type will be a number it will be taken and it will be stored in distance. Now after input you are going to check the condition if distance lesser than or equal to 5. Okay, so that's the first criteria and so if it is less than or equal to 5, then you are going to store amount equal to 100. So it is a flat rate, so you are going to just store 100. Okay, whatever distance it is, you are going to just store 100. Next, you are going to see, if suppose the value is more than 5, then this condition will be false. So I will go to the else part. So here you can see the next condition, else if distance greater than 5 and distance less than or equal to 15. So in between 5 that is above 5 that is 6 and 15 and this criteria will be true. Okay, If the distance is in between that you, uh, this criteria will be true that is the reason you use the AND operator. Both should be true. right? 
So once it is true, it enters inside, you can see the statement, uh, distance minus 5 into 10. So already we discussed in the uh, uh, slide that you have to subtract the previous first 5 kilometers. The remaining distance you have to multiply with 10. Okay, and add up this 100 rupees, which is uh, the first 5 kilometers value. All right, so you add it, add it up along with it. Suppose if the distance is say uh, 8 kilometers, 8 minus 5 will be 3. 3 into 10 is 30 plus uh, then 100. So 130 will be the amount to be uh, will be uh, stored in the variable. Okay, amount. Next is uh, after that is suppose the distance is above 15. Obviously, the first two condition will be false. So we'll go to the next condition. If else if distance is greater than greater than 15 and distance less than or equal to 25 so in between 15 and 25 this criteria will be true if so then you have to subtract distance minus 15 this is a previous value 5 and 10 so that is the previous value so 15 so the remaining amount that is remaining distance will be multiplied with 8 per kilometer and then add up the two value that is uh, first 5 kilometers 100 second uh, 10 kilometers again it is 100 so both will combine so we will get 200 will be added to the uh, distance so that is added to the amount if all these conditions are false then finally you will get this else part else if distance is greater than 25 then you are going to calculate this so suppose if you don't give this if statement also it works because the last criteria is greater than 25 so anyway any uh, above conditions will not be true so obviously else will be executed so in uh, safer case we have just written the condition also it doesn't matter if you don't write the condition also it works okay amount equal to distance minus 25 into 5 so you are subtracting the previous three uh, rows uh, three criteria okay so the remaining distance will be multiplied by 5 and then add up with 280. So what is this 280? First 5 kilometers 100, second 10 kilometers is 100 again, third 10 kilometers is 80 rupees because you are multiplying by 8 so it becomes 80. So 280 will be added with this amount. Then finally you are going to print the uh, bill. Okay, So taxi number, distance covered and amount. You can see taxi and now that will store the taxi number, distance will store the uh, distance covered and then amount a yeah, amount will be uh, having the value of the uh, calculated amount right now you are going to execute this program so compiling so no syntax errors so i'm going to execute it click okay now i'm going to enter the uh, taxi number so tn 1234 okay just entering some number enter the distance so first criteria is uh, should be lesser than 5 so i'm giving 4 now you can see the taxi number distance covered is for amount is 100 flat amount has been displayed okay now i'm going to give the next criteria so execute it again i'm giving taxi number two three six seven and the distance covered should be in between uh, six and fifteen so i'm giving it as 12 kilometers so you can see uh, the taxi number is given displayed and then the distance covered is 12 and the amount is 170 uh, to be paid by the customer and next is i'm going to give in between uh, 15 that is 16 and 25 okay execute it again so here i'm giving the taxi number uh, 6734 and uh, distance distance i'm giving it as a uh, 23 i can see that distance covered is uh, 23 and the amount to be paid is 264 and the final one is about 25 so we can execute it again uh, tn9747 uh, okay distance covered i am giving some uh, bigger uh, that is larger distance say eh? i uh, travel say 75 kilometers so you can see that amount to be paid is 530 okay so these are the criteria given and uh, it has been calculated and then uh, the printed bill has been displayed on the screen Hope you understood uh, this program. We will meet you in the next video. Till then, thank you.